welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with more Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 1. I am joined, as always, by Shion Uzuki. When we last left off, we were hanging out in Shion's room, right next to this giant golden thing in a room that says UMN. Don't question it. Uh, we were told that we need to actually help perform maintenance on something or some things called realians. Let's try to find out what they, the hell they're talking about. Or I could line up and try to leave, but it looks like we got an email from Miyuki. I wonder what it is. And it is required that I read this. So, Xion, how are you doing? Thank you for the MWS, the weapon you used in your left hand during battle data from the tests we ran alongside Cosmos and the Encephalon. Like I said, they kind of used their division to test all sorts of things. And I like how they said you used it in your left hand, as if it didn't take over like her whole arm. Just no, it's like in your left hand, sure. I've moved one step forward with my magnificent plans, thanks to you. Now the only thing I need is a real test. So I've sent you a real MWS. It should reach you soon. If the Gnosis attack now, they're so dead. Doing these tests provides a bit of aerobic exercise and may even have some weight loss effects. So in a way, it's like you're killing two birds and with one stone. Please make sure you pick it up when it arrives. Miyuki. P.S. I lost three kilos. You see, it's just like I said, the apple diet really works. So yes, just eat apples. Three kilograms, uh, seven, eight pounds? Seven, we'll go with seven pounds. I think it's actually a little bit less. 6.6 uh, .6 pounds. So yeah, a little bit less than seven pounds. I know my math, I swear. Yes, I can convert between metric and whatever the hell you call it that we Americans use. I think it's called Imperial. I forget. A magnificent plan. What in the world is that girl planning? I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's get on out of here. Hopefully, uh, I, I can increase the, the volume of these videos. I have noticed that they are a little bit low, and by a little bit, I mean really low compared to what I'm used to. So I have tried to increase the volume for this one. Hopefully, it has worked out. Now, like I said, we need to go talk to whoever wanted us to do something about realians. Uh, we still don't know what the hell they're talking about. The way to the realians is this way. So let's go ahead and go inside. We do have the maintenance data from Xion's room with us, so this should all work out great. I bet we get a cutscene in this room now. We get cutscenes every time we enter a new room. I knew it. Are, th are those people? The hell is going on here? Hello, you rang? He did. My apologies, Miss Uzuki. It seems we're constantly in need of your help. Cause she's awesome. No problem, Lieutenant. I want everyone to be healthy and happy too, after all. So, what's the problem today? The hell are those well, things? I'm trying to teach them some new battle algorithms to better reflect the unit's reorg. But the integration is not going very smoothly. You're right. He's rejecting the data. So, oh, let's see. Reality is a kind of human. Yes, I know the answers to all these questions. But the game has not told us what the hell are we dealing with here? Are those are those some kinds of androids? Are they some kind of human? I don't know. <laughs> to be honest, that is a major debate. Uh for this part. So let's just try to talk to this guy, see if he can give us any information. Let's see, I just need to check the realians lying on the maintenance beds, right? Yes, thank you for your help. Thank you. I think his name is Caspas, something like that. How is that? It's just a temporary fix, though. Yes, I cannot express it appropriately, but I feel like some weight has been lifted. Everything feels a bit brighter. Thank you so much. So we fixed him somehow. Hooray! Let's talk to you. you. We had a full-time counselor. Problems only always crop up, and all I've got are the beds now. Yeah, it is a long mission, I guess. These guys were just born? So it's not surprising that they're having problems? Because they're just born? What do you mean, born? The hell? What the hell's going on here? So oh. Crap, second all-nighter in a row? It's, does that mean that she's been up for over 48 hours now? That is not recommended. 
they are they're bad for your health and you're worried about your skin tone always good to know make sure you don't like hit anybody on the way back to wherever it is you sleep uh, apparently we have fixed him as well can I call it a him no he's fine we are combat models so even our training causes heavy wear and tear regular tune-ups like this are very much appreciated so these guys are built is that even the right term built for combat <laughs> I don't know they're definitely not human that, that that I've gathered so far right I've been studying fables and proverbs but I'm unable to use them properly and I am always being laughed at your linguistic center doesn't seem to have any abnormalities so I'm gonna lean towards androids at this point as to what these guys are. You know, you're not being very helpful, Miss I've Had Nine Cups of Coffee. Right, Better show up when we try to install new software. Their compensator program makes it seem like you are getting through to them, but if you examine more closely, errors start showing up in their subconscious. The stress eventually gets to them, so I'm still gonna go with androids. They're the same as infants. That's a nice way to, s to, to phrase what we send into battle. They're like infants. Your values are stable. I don't see any particular problems. Then I will return to my duties. I think you could express a bit more joy. Maybe your emotional expression <laughs> isn't working right. <laughs> oh, God. Look at that short skirt. Is that, is that shorter than Shion's? It's, it's kind of hard to tell. It's comparable. It's comparable. But I, I do have a better tuning department. We have like 20 people for the one android. The Realians are becoming a more vital part of the force in the army. But we are still way behind when it comes to maintenance and tuning. If you need me coming in all the damn time to do it, that's for sure. That is a short skirt. Yeah, I find functional impediments occurring when communicating with a certain person. My pulse becomes rapid, perspiration increases, and I become unable to articulate well. Is this android in love? I wonder if it's an operating system bug. <laughs> uh, so yes, uh, this is yet another term you don't want to get wrong. I have gotten wrong a couple times on purpose. These are not androids. These are realians. They're different. They haven't gone over exactly why they're different from androids, but they are different. Once again, it's just one of those terms that you have to learn. I have to stand there, apparently. Your brain waves seem to be chaotic. Ever since I was assigned to the Woglinde, I haven't been the same. I slowly lost mental composure, and my body has begun to manifest minute spasms. The shape of these waves, could it be fear of battle? You understand what a fear brave wave brain wave looks like? It looks like that's all six. So we have tried to help everybody here. Cause it yeah, it had to load a cutscene because we didn't go anywhere. Well, near. I've made some adjustments, but please contact third division once we return. I recommend they receive more intensive counseling soon. Can you refer to I'll us. Be sure to do so. Counseling? You know, I'm really impressed. Providing Realian psych support on top of developing Cosmos? I hear even specialized counselors have a hard time... Oh, I'm just making the most of what my mentor taught me. I'm glad I could be of help. Who's your mentor? Besides, I always wanted to work in the 3rd Division. Actually, I'm thinking about requesting a transfer once my current work's finished. But Vector's first R&D division has the best researchers in the organization. Everyone knows not just anyone can get in there. Are you sure that you want to transfer? Oh, yes. Besides, my family's always asking, how did you get assigned to the first division? There must have been a mistake in the paperwork. Your family is awesome. Who knows? Maybe they're right. Besides, I want to learn so much more about them. What's going on with them? So she wants like What's a... What's learning about them going to do for you? Uh-oh. Lieutenant Virgil. Virgil. What is with your face?
That's not creepy at all. What are you looking at? Their stench. What? What? It reeks. I can't get their rotten odor out of my system. Are they machines? What the? Can't you smell it? It makes me sick to my stomach. Huh? What are you? Yeah, hey, what's with the scars? Zoom in on it. That's enough. You got your orders from the lieutenant commander, didn't you? One of the goals of this operation is to enhance combat support between the eggs and the new model realians. And yet your support. Huh. In a battle against them, the last thing I want to worry about is supporting a bunch of untested weapons grade realians. Um excuse me, but these people are highly qualified soldiers. These people? You're treating equipment like people? And here. Oh, you really shouldn't say things like that. Here the debate starts. These people have the same intellect and emotions as us. And the Milsha Charter clearly spelled out the basic human rights of realians when it was ratified in 4763. Oh, there's legal stuff behind it. What a load of crap. Get off your soapbox. You act noble and preach about humanity. But in the end, they're just equipment as far as your company's concerned. I can't really be or held responsible for the company. More like merchandise. Well, they are. We don't treat them anything like equipment or merchandise. They are merchandise. Then why do you categorize them as weapons grade realians? How much more evidence do you need than that? Whatever you care to call them, they're nothing but tools of warfare. Besides, I know your little secret. What secret? You guys have an emergency override code to control them, don't you? Oh. Uh, Virgil! Why are you... I bet they do, actually. Huh? What do you want? It is as you say, sir. We are manufactured as merchandise and raised accordingly. However, I take great pride in what I do now. And this pride was not forced upon me. It is of my own free will. <clears throat> is he laughing or is he going to throw up? Free will, huh? Well, good for you. You'd better just enjoy it while you can. The time will come soon enough when you'll realize what's going on. Just you wait. And that's the bait. A DME addict? What's a DME addict? What? What? No, answer some questions. Don't give me more. What the hell's a reality? What are you? What are you? Ah, oh, fine. And I think there's actually an exit here that's I, I, that I actually can't go in. I think I, I, I just need to go north. But, yeah, there's a way down here, it looks like. Ah, here we go. So, that is a way that I could go, but not right now. So, I'll just head out the front door then. Now, that started a debate already. My apologies, Ms. Uzuki. To what extent is a human? A human. He wasn't always like that. But then, something happened. Is he an old acquaintance? Did he become an addict? We were classmates at the military academy, and I've been stuck with him since then. It was Milsha. Milsha. I see. So, that's why. You knew about that, huh? Then again, anyone planning to join the 3rd Division would know. Well, I... I'm from Milsha. Huh? What? Of course, no one's allowed to go there anymore. Why not? 
My family moved to Second Milsha when they transferred the capital after the war. So is the capital? And my brother still lives there alone. Her brother. Huh? Oh, I see. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring back painful memories. Oh, it's all right. After all, it's something we must never forget about. Apparently, Michelle. For our sake and theirs as well. Michelle is very important. We don't know why yet, though. And that was a close-up. Oh up. no! I forgot I had to report to the bridge. That Sorry, I'll come back to check on them later. That was Bye. kind of important. What kind of pee dance was that, Shion? You're supposed to be on the bridge. You're not supposed to stop yourself from peeing in the freaking reality and garage or lab or whatever the hell that was. The hell's going on? So, but that does start the debate on what constitutes a human. What kind of rights are they are, are they given? This is something that will be continued for some time. So we're out here. How you doing, buddy? Ah, oh, there was a draft. And not everybody here is good enough. We couldn't fight the Gnosis head on. That's not foreshadowing or anything. Oh. Up tight. Whatever. Do you see the length of my skirt? <laughs> what about that says up tight? What? Take all the ammo to the hangar. I swear he said eggs. That's just me. Okay, so we need to... I think we just head up here. Um... Actually, no. No, we need, we need to do something else first. I forgot about... Well, honestly, more mail. Just need to head south out of here. Yeah, I know, it's mail. But it doesn't seem that important. But I want to try to get all the mail if I can. I should be able... There we go. Here's an email for Xion. I don't know why they, they make it so you have to do it this way. Uh, they at least give you the option from now on if you want to read the email or don't want to read the email. I do want to read this one. Uh, tracking cooperation request. Please excuse the sudden email. I am Angie Ropa from the Vector NSS Control Center, a security insurance organization responsible for carrying out network security activities affiliated with Vector conglomerate business ventures. Currently, we are tracking an intruder who has hacked into the second R&D division's imaginary machine cluster. Imaginary machine cluster is a calculation apparatus that connects laterally to a group of imaginary processors utilizing UMN resources. resources. So, um, if you've ever heard of, of cloud work, um, like, like the SETI project, that's pretty much what they're talking about here, where they have multiple computers uh, doing work and then transferring data between the computers. Uh, that's what it sounds like to me. The second R&D division's machine cluster is called Mercury and is loaded with its own unique system called Harbeck. We detected that Mercury has been, had been hacked about one month ago when we restored our log file records. However, they indicated that the intruder had invaded the second R&D division's machine cluster five months earlier than we had realized. The intruder always demonstrates the same behavior, logging on once every 216 hours and signing off within three minutes. That sounds like a machine. Who, who calculates 216 hours? What is that? Nine hours? Or, sorry, eight days minus... Uh, no, 240, 24, no, once exactly every nine days, once every nine days, exactly. This coincides with the timing intervals of the suspension of the 4,096 processors among 260,000 structural units. The intruder connects parallel to the unused CPUs and uses the imaginary machine cluster for only two minutes. It's possible to disconnect him from this terminal when he does it. That doesn't sound good at all. Not at all. We considered isolating. And our only, but their only option is to capture the intruder. I'm just going to skip the rest of this from now on. <laughs> the intruder's ultimate goal is to have something to do with the creation of a large AI engineered to destroy. That doesn't sound good. Sounds like he's trying to create a Trojan or 
worm or something like that. The only way to catch the intruder is to be on the lookout for all his variable dummy routes in order to identify the terminal he is connecting from. We need to find him through all his proxies. The solution is lies in the artificial intelligence or AI that you supposedly developed. They don't believe that Xion did the work? Never. They need to pinpoint the intruder's location. I will leave the decision whether or not you want to accept this request up to you. I promise compensation appropriate to the task at hand. If I don't receive a reply from you, I'll assume that you did not want to take the task. Can I reply from here? No. I have to hit back and talk to the bunny about it. So what are you going to do? Are you going to help with the search to capture the intruder? I wonder what I should do. The intruder seems to know how to manipulate the vector security service staff. He's a clever one. If we're not careful. If you're not careful, someone may get hurt. That's what you were going to say, wasn't it? It would be great if injury was the worst of it. We'll give it some serious thought before making your decision. They kind of said that I was in a rush here. I suspect they know the situation over here and sent you an email on the assumption that you would turn down their request. But I mean, you know, it makes me mad too. I can't believe that AI are being used for no good. You guys have not been on the internet very long, have you? I wish everyone respected AI like myself the way you do, Xion. Xion does hold artificial intelligence pretty much on the same level as uh, natural intelligence. I assume would be the opposite of artificial, natural, something like 